I'm Steve. Welcome to my shop and to Fenwick One Stuff. Well, this is the second instalment of uh, Tool Review Tuesday. It's the first uh, Tuesday in a new month. So we're going to review a tool of mine. This month's tool is going to be the DeWalt 876 bandsaw. I'll take you through a few of its features. I bought this bandsaw in 2003, so I've had it uh, 16 years. It cost me somewhere in the region of uh, £250, I think. And it's been a loyal servant. It's been uh, it's never missed a beat all that time. It's not the best bandsaw in the world, uh, but it's definitely not the worst. But for those who are uh, loyal supporters and followers of the uh, black and gold of DeWalt, this isn't too bad at all. Roughly 12 inches, just over. 305 millimeters, 8 inches, 200 millimeters or so. Blade capacity is anything from 3 millimeters to uh, 20 millimeters. So, as you can see, it's a 2003 model, uh, and the input is uh, 1000 kilowatts. And the output is 750 or 0.75 kilowatts, which is about one horse. Four inch dust port. Extruded aluminium table. Uh, this fence runner comes out and slots in. And this acts as a as a brace to keep it straight as it slots in a few of the areas. Because it's aluminium, you don't get uh, any rust or anything like that on it. Uh, I just treat it the same as my cast iron tables, wax it and everything. So it's quite a large bed area. So it's a uh, 500 millimeters, about 19 and a half inches by 500 millimeters, so oh, by 19 and a half inches. So quite a big work table. It's not too bad, but if I run a, a feeler gauge on it, so this is a 0.5 or 2000, you can get it underneath, but you can't get a, you can get a 4000 in, in certain areas. To be honest, it, it's, it's good enough. It's uh, got two pulleys on it, uh, so it's two speed. The slow speed is about three, 380 meters per minute, and the, the fast speed, which is it's, it's always on, to be honest, is 880 meters per minute. Fence just slips on to the gap, and there's just a simple screw that holds it. It's not the best thing in the world. It's reasonably square to the table. And everything seems to work all right. The table will tilt to 45 degrees. I'll tip five degrees that way and 45, actually over 45. Hardened steel block guides and a bearing guide at the back, which is side on, which I never understand why they do that. And the same with the top. Comes with a, a mitre gauge, and then you've got this that you can actually use as a length stop for repetitive cuts and the like. A bit loose. But just what a bounce off should do. 
I'll go through a, a blade change. Uh, it's a bit of a faff, but uh, first thing, make sure it's unplugged. Take the fence off. So we can open the doors. So all I have to do is uh, wind that down. Get the Allen key. Move the blocks back. Move the bearings back. Slip the blade off. Put it on. Wind it back up to whatever tension it's supposed to be. Set the guides.
That's all right. What I also didn't mention is that the blades are are a custom size. You, you, they're, not, they're not straight off the shelf. You've always got to order them and get made. I guess that might be the same with uh, most other brands. I'm not sure. So, we'll just lower the guy down a bit. It's a Dewalt 876 Banso. So like I said, I've had this uh, 16 years. It's been uh, a good workhorse. Uh, you'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll put some links around this way I, uh, I did my own sort of uh, building my own lumber. So it, it, I handle some, uh, some decent sized uh, pieces of wet timber as well the drawback is the 8 inch or the 200 millimeter height uh, for me so hence why I bought uh, the record power I was going to sell this but to be honest I think it's uh, it's still good to keep and I've got a corner of the workshop which I've, uh, I can use so I just keep a small blade in and I do most of my profile work on this one today just looking around that they're, they're, they're anything from 750 to a thousand pound these uh, I'm not sure I would pay, pay, pay that for it uh, I say I paid I think I paid around about 200 and 250 uh, but it was a while ago so maybe with inflation and all that it, it probably is the right price so my honest opinion would I buy it again uh, not, not at today's price will I keep it yes and will I use it yes if you're in the market for the vault see if you can get one second hand they are bomb proof really are uh, and you'll probably get them at a, at, a, at, a, at a better price thanks for watching